In today's video, I'm going to share how to use a controller with Anki. The reason why I'm making this video is because this little controller has helped me review Anki every day and make it a consistent habit. This is the Anki add-on support for the controller. What you need to do is just select this code and put it into your Anki add-ons. This works for Mac, um, Windows, any computer. I set it on my girlfriend's Acer computer that she works for anything. So once you've pasted that in and you've restarted Anki, you can connect your controller. For Mac, you just need to press the start and the X button together and it'll come up and it'll look something like this. Once it's connected, you just go onto your Anki and um, you go up here to tools and go to controller options. Once you go into controller options, you can map and you can select the 8-bit dio controller if you're using that you can also use an xbox controller a ps4 controller um, a nintendo controller any controller that works for you i like this one because it's small and compact it's linked in the description if you would like to buy it these are my settings i'll just go through what each one of them so for example if i'm going to review my flashcards now i set it up so these buttons here you can select which ones you want so i'm revising my structures exam you can start revising it by entering good or bad. You can go backwards. You can go back to the home screen. And then the favorite feature for me is just pressing the X button and it goes straight back to the review. That's really cool. Um, it makes it a much more efficient process. One thing that I've got with my one is that I've got another add-on called Need Focus add-on. This really helps me do more flashcards in the same amount of time because it's the way it works is if you go here shift click options it auto advances the flashcard for you so it flips it for you and it, if you don't correct the answer or you don't know it in seven seconds it will just mark it as wrong for you so this allows me to have like a time pressure and get more done and not just stare at a card when i obviously don't know it um, but the cool thing about it is if you looked on my settings you can add a custom action and what p does is i set that up as the top button so whenever i'm reviewing a flashcard say for a structures exam say this type of card i want a bit more time i can just press the p button and it will stop it for me and it won't reveal it but say but most of the time i just leave it going because i want to review the flashcard in around eight or seven seconds for my engineering degree but i love things like this with anki anything to make the process and the system more efficient to study in, but still work hard. I'm going to show you on my iPad now and game pads. And this is the, it has it built into the iOS app, which is really cool. And you can just, these are my settings on how it features in mine. And it's a simple process of connecting it up to the iPad, very similar to the computer. So I hope this video helps you become more efficient with Anki, make it a habit. I recommend to read Atomic Habits and it literally confirms using this controller because it makes it easy, it makes it very attractive and it makes it satisfying. And for me, it makes it obvious because when I look at my desk and I see this controller on my desk, it makes me wanna grab it and start reviewing flashcards first thing in the morning. Couple tips with Anki, you need to do it every day and this helps me make a habit a consistent habit to keep going keep thriving and get more with less peace i hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week and thank you very much